Hello everybody and welcome back to another Undertale S Quarter tutorial. In this episode we're going to be doing map lighting like you see in ELC and plenty of other Undertale games. So this is actually a very easy thing to do, so this should not take very very long. Alright, so in our last episode, in case you didn't notice, we made our own custom sands and now we're going to add our own custom lighting to it. Roblox has this management area called lighting. It's in the explorer bar and it's right over here. This thing right here, lighting. A little light bulb. This is where it controls all of the lighting of the game, so how it looks and everything. So this blur, uh, I have a blur in there currently, and I also have a skybox texture. Um, those aren't super important. Um, but anything that's in the lighting will be activated as lighting in the game. It won't work anywhere else. So this blur right here, I'm going to enable it. Um, it's going to show the blur, but if I put this in workspace, then it's just going to disappear. So it only works in lighting. You also can't keep any lighting things in folders or in other objects because they also won't work. So we make a folder here and I call it um, lighting. And I put my thing in there and then I enable it. There's gonna be nothing on my screen. So it has to be, has to have its parent set to lighting. All right. First thing you actually want to do is create a folder inside of lighting. So we're gonna click the little plus thing and then we're gonna search up folder, grab a folder. And I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Game Lighting. This is where all of our lighting is going to be stored for our characters. Now I have to actually make our lighting. Now this can be literally anything. There's t dozens of to uh, tutorials on how to make your own cool realistic lighting or how to make it look in a certain way. Uh, but for mine, I'm not, I'm not really a lighting expert guy, so I think I'm going to go with a color correction uh, object. Um, I'm gonna make the tint color probably red-ish. Yeah. All right. So we get, my screen's pretty red right now. Uh, let me bring up the contrast a little bit, just like that. Tone down the brightness, make it feel a little darker maybe. And uh, I think I like this. This is how it looks so far. So uh, this is what's gonna look like inside the rounds. And uh, yeah, when you're done, you're gonna rename it to whatever you want to. I'm gonna call this Red Sands um, Effect. Then I'm gonna place it inside my folder, Game Lighting. All right, now we gotta get to actually scripting the thing. So when you go to Service Script Service, when I go to Game Manager, and actually up at the top, right below Settings, where it's defined, we're gonna add a new um, variable. We're gonna call this Current Lighting, and it's gonna be set to Nil. Um, so currently, this will be set to nil at the beginning of the game, um, but this will be telling what the current lighting is. So you're gonna, you, you'll find out what we're gonna use this for. All right. Uh, actually, yes. Choose. This is where the sand spawns in, and it pairs everything that loads in the round. So we're actually going to look for. Here we go. So below line 88. Well, maybe different for you, but. It, where it says game that serves to reject maps, boss info that map that parent equals workspace dot map. We're gonna add a new line of code. Okay. We're going to type if boss info dot lighting then so you're checking if boss info has any lighting. It's boss info is the character that we select inside of our main module. This is a little confusing, but basically, uh, when we select a character in game, one of these boxes, it sets a value to that character. Depending on that value, it'll transform your character into the options that we select for um, the characters that are inside this module. So whatever character you selected inside of here is the boss info. So it's reaching into here and grabbing one of these characters. If you want to understand this more, you should probably watch the other video. Right. Next thing we're going to actually do inside of here, before we continue scripting instead of a game manager, we're going to go to our settings menu. We're going to go to the character we want to have lighting on. So I'm going to say this one. And I already actually set it up over here. Um, but I'm going to delete it and retype it just in case. Right below map, we're going to add a new variable and we're gonna call it lighting. And we're gonna set it equal to 
the name of our lighting. Uh, what did I call it again? I called it uh, Red Sands Effect. Red Sands Effect. Just like that. And it's easy as that. You're gonna add this to whatever character you want. You're gonna name it whatever lighting you want. It should work perfectly fine. Uh, game manager, we're gonna go back to over here. So checking if lighting exists, because we're, otherwise we have to put lighting in every single character and that'd be kind of annoying. So we're only checking if lighting exists for the character. So if boss info lighting, then current lighting, we're gonna set our current lighting variable that we made at top to boss info dot lighting. So the lighting that we selected is now being transferred and being set, and the variable current lighting is being set to the boss info dot lighting. Now we're gonna actually clone it into lighting. So we're gonna do local um, cloned lighting. Let's use that for instance. Equals uh, game dot lighting dot game lighting, and then we're gonna grab something from there. We're gonna use these little uh, brackets right here and we're gonna grab boss info dot lighting All right. so now we have that we've grabbed it um, we're not gonna clone it or anything because it's easier to just parent things so I guess you can just call this um, we're just gonna leave it cloned lighting though um, you can name this whatever you want alright next thing we're gonna do uh, we're gonna parent the clone lighting we're gonna do clone lighting dot parent oop, dot parent equals game dot lighting. So now, remember when I said at the beginning of the video it won't show up any folders? Well, it's in the folder right now. It's not showing up. But now we can put it inside of lighting, which is the parent of the game lighting folder, and it will show up. Um, so this is actually basically all it is for the script. It's been set right here. This is literally all you need to do. But, if you play the game right now and test it out, um, it will work, however, the lighting will actually be stuck in place and it won't be removed. And if the next round starts, it'll be bugged because it doesn't know what to do um, if the lighting has already been parented to this and there's no more lighting in the folder or whatever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the to lobby function. So it should be, there it is, function to lobby winner. This is the end of the round. So I'm gonna put this right uh, below workspace.megalovania where it's saying the sound ID for that. And I'm gonna put if current lighting does not equal nil, then, so remember at the beginning of our event here, current lighting is equal to nil. It'll just be equal to nil regularly, right? But when we set the boss lighting, um, the current lighting to our character's lighting, it's no longer equal to nil. So we're saying, with this little squiggly right here, if current lighting does not equal, use this symbol for does not equal nil, then we're gonna do um, game dot lighting and then we're gonna search for the current lighting dot parent equals game dot lighting dot game lighting. So we're setting it back to the folder. And then after that, we're gonna set the current lighting back to nil. So now the lighting is being set back to the folder and the current lighting is being set to nil. So I'm gonna actually press test now. Should all work fine and dandy. Wait for it to load up a little bit. All right, I did the test for two players and now I'm in game. I'm gonna select my Red Sands character. I just hopped into the round and there's my lighting. So now everything is kind of reddish and it does it for the other player's screen as well. So as you can see, the screen is also kind of reddish. So quick way to end the match, we're gonna just use the commands that's built in. We're gonna do kill. Now we're gonna wait for the round to end. And then it ended. There we go. So now if we notice, and we go back to, um, if we go back to our server, and we go check in our lighting, 
in our game lighting folder, our red stance effect got put back, so now it can be used again. And again, this works with all the other characters as you can see, so even though this guy's little sans does not have lighting set instead of its boss info thing, it still works perfectly fine. So yeah, that's how you create lighting instead of your Until Last Quarter uh, kit. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're interested for more tutorials, be sure to uh, give a like and subscribe. I don't know. Um, yeah, see you guys later.